I'm in a back road in rural Zambia. As you can see, there's basically nothing around here. Even so, my phone has pretty good internet service here. This is a song you already know. Today, even the most remote parts of Zambia have gone digital. To see that firsthand, we traveled a thousand kilometers from the capital, Lusaka. In a car, on a plane, on another plane, and a boat across a lake and through a swamp to an isolated island. And it's as connected to the digital world as any other part of Africa. Before you needed to physically send messages to people, you know, by either a boat or by the canoe. This is Kunda Mwila. He grew up on this island and has worked in the telecoms industry for decades. But now with the 3G, we are able to just make a call on your mobile. Cell service, Wi-Fi, cable TV, satellite dishes, all of this has something in common, China. Private Chinese companies build the infrastructure funded with loans from the Chinese government. Around the world, Chinese-built networks are connecting places to the digital economy for the first time. But China is also giving governments unprecedented power to control the information on those networks. For young democracies like Zambia, that can be a blessing or a curse. We're traveling around the world to find out how China is changing basically everything. This week, the internet. I'm Nikhil Sonad reporting for Quartz. Quartz members can see more from this video in our entire series on how China is reshaping the world. Click the link for a free membership trial to get access to exclusive videos and articles. Quartz members get a daily education in the forces defining the global economy.